So you guys asked for it. I am delivering today with some more Thumb Drift. It is probably one of my favorite mobile games. It has nothing to do with it, with it having my car in it. Promise. Anyways, we've still got the challenge going on for the AR-12 t-shirt. The link's in the description down below. If you want to enter and you can win and you just have to be kind of not shit at this game and you can win. Anyways, today what I wanted to do is play some more Thumb Drift, but I wanted to do something that the majority of people can't do. I have a sort of developer version of this game that allows me to go in and check around early things. It also included every DLC car, every car that you have to basically uh, spend your coins on to get. I have that in my game. What that means exactly, if we get out of the R32, sadly, and we go over to the right, I have this car, a Bugatti Veyron, which is called Feel the Vern, and I have a Hamburgini, Ham Hamburgini. It's an Aventador. Anyways, today I wanted <laughs> the, the, the license plate is Lamb Chop. What's one? What's one on? No, 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 no. What a, what's one on this one? Oh, it doesn't have one. So okay, okay, let's get in the Lamborghini to start this one off. The big bad orange mobile, and see if we can actually unlock a new map because we still haven't unlocked a new map on this uh, on this version of the game. Let's get Lamb Chop going. So this car costs most people 50,000 coins, which is absolutely insane. I don't know how most people would get to that, but hey, I mean, if you did, congratulations to you. But uh, I, I, I sort of got mine, and I, w I wanted to try it out today and, and have some fun with them and showcase them. And you guys can sort of make the call whether you think it's worth it or not. I need to focus more on the driving. Alrighty, let's focus on the driving. I don't know, but now I'm just driving in a straight line, which, I mean... That's a good way to set a new record. All right, so it doesn't it doesn't do that. Okay, the, that thing is just for the big tank car. Okay. Anyways, let's get drifting this thing, keeping it sideways. I, I love this thing. It's so cool. We completed mission two apparently or something. I don't know. Whoop, whoop. I don't like these ones. These ones are really hard. As soon as you get those like little S's and the things sort of starting to come into the way of the game, and it's so annoying. It's so hard to deal with. Oh, this might be one of my best runs. This might be one of my best runs. Don't screw it up now. Oh, I gotta focus. Cool. What was my score? What is my best run? Oh, this is my best run. Oh, yes, boys. Oh, shit. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. No. I got a score of 500. 552. Did I get a new track? Should we, get the, should we go get the Veyron? Let's try the Veyron out. See how that can do. Let's see if we can beat 500 in the big bad blue Veyron. Hashtag blue crew, buddy. All right. Well, that was a brilliant start. That, that went wrong from the first corner. As soon as I got offline, it just wasn't happening. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, blue crew Veyron. They did a, they did a good job with this car. It looks really nice. I'm, I'm trying to think. What other cars would I want in this game? I don't know. I don't know. They've, they've, got a, they've got so many crazy things. The thing is, you got to think of, like, crazy cars. I know they just added the Batmobile, but one of the things I can sort of go off on that would maybe be... Hey, I unlocked Forest Road. Let's go, let's go on Forest Road. One of the things I think they could do with sort of Batman is get the Tumbler in, because the Tumbler is just one of the coolest cars from Batman, I think. I don't know. Is that just me? I love the Tumbler. Anyway, so the Tumbler would be a good fit. Maybe... I don't know how they really include it, but I, I kind of want to see an airplane. Just because it'd be so crazy. I don't know. Or maybe like a Mario Kart thing. That'd be pretty cool as well. But then, you know, Nintendo being Nintendo. God damn it. I just want the icy one because then I can... Re God damn it. I need to release my inner Canadian on these icy roads, man. Then, I, then I'm then i good at this game. As soon as I get to the icy bit, it's like, oh shit, you're good. Everyone was, everyone was yelling at me last time going, oh, you're so bad at this game. Man, it's hard to play this game and talk, I must say. Sort of the thing with YouTube is you sort of have to be good at playing games and talking. For the most part, I can do it. Forza, not a problem. Need for Speed, not a problem. GTA, yeah, it sort of starts to create problems. In this game, it's like a whole nother level. As soon as I start to talk, it's just ridiculous. Anyways, the Veyron's pretty cool itself, it seems. Not a bad little car there. For 50,000 credits, though, I mean, the thing's pretty expensive. This thing in the Lamborghini, it's up there. It's quite expensive. Both of these cars are actually all-wheel drive, I've just realized. Makes sense. To pull off some epic slides. Also, boys, I don't know if I can actually say this, but there's a coming to Thumb Drift. 
and it's gonna be out soon is what I was told so we'll see when that comes out I will definitely I will definitely make some videos about it hey I mean I'm excited thumb drift is a cool game I like it I enjoy it, it makes a nice little change so hey no complaints from me god damn it all right none of this is going well just just I'm sorry it, it, it helps it helps it's like a mental thing I need my fix of R32 if the R32 is in the game you take the R32. That is how this works. Yep. Also, I like their little the little thing where the Volkswagen logo is supposed to go. They put the AR logo on there. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. The STI in this game would be so sick with, with all the stickers and everything and the banners. and Oh, it'd be really cool. I'd, I'd love to send them over a thing and be like, hey, can you guys put this in the game too? But they already have a Subaru in the game. I don't, I don't think they need another one. But hey, if they wanted to put my other car in the game... That'd be okay for me. Alrighty, take your time, little R32. No worries. Don't go after coins and be a knob, because then every time I do, I just crash. That's bad. Watch out for cows. Cows crashing into cows would be bad. So many coins. So many coins! Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. This run is pretty good. Who put a rock in the middle of a road? So anyways, let's talk about the Hamburghini and the... Whatever the Veron's called. Are they worth 50,000 credits? Probably not, but they're pretty cool. So if you want to show off to your friends, that would be a very, very good way to be like, hey, look what I got. I mean, the Lamborghini is just cool because it's a big, bad Lamborghini and it's bright orange and it says lamb chop on the, on the back and you can say I own a Hamburghini. And the Vero is just cool because one hashtag blue crew says field. Alrighty, thumb drift. So I think you've defeated me. I've had my fix for today. Before I blow up the iPad, I think, I think it's nearly time to call it quits for today before I get too frustrated and start throwing things. Anyways, let me know if you guys enjoy this game by dropping a like down below. I really recommend you guys try Thumb Drift. It's really, really cool. Get the R32. Don't forget, we're still running the challenge, the, uh, the Thumb Drift challenge. You have to drive the R32 and Thumb Drift on Gymkhana and do better than my very shit run and then post a picture of it on the forums. You can win an AR-12 t-shirt. It's really cool and... And yeah, so check out Thumb Drift, check out the contest, I'll link it in the description down below. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the- I can't- I can't end the video in the middle of a run. I can't end the video in the middle of a run! Oh my god, I'm actually doing well! This is a new record! Oh my god, this is incredible! Oh, I died. Thanks a lot.